Happy Thursday. It is, if you remember, our last day of full science content for the week because tomorrow will be one of our Friday check-ins. Um, you guys have been crushing it with learning about the cell. Your high school biology teachers are going to be blown away with how much you know, and hopefully you'll be like, I had this awesome eighth grade science teacher. She totally set me up. Maybe you'll say you had a really awesome seventh grade science teacher because I know Ms. Patel's the best, but anyways, you get the point. We're going to move on. We're going to talk about the mitochondria. So there, you might have seen like these memes that go around that are like, basically making fun of how people learn a lot of useless stuff in high school. It's not useless, but they like to say it's useless. And the one thing they'll always say is like, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. People like to joke that like, I don't know how to do my taxes, but I know the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. For whatever reason, it gets made fun of because it gets talked about so much. The thing is, it's not useless to know that, right? Like our body runs on energy and we wouldn't have energy if it wasn't for the mitochondria. So we're going to talk about that today. And one day later, you're going to be old like me and you're going to be looking at a meme or whatever, like, the young cool kids are doing when you're old like me and you're going to see something about the mitochondria and you're going to remember it's the powerhouse of the cell. I'm going to be real happy that you remember that. Anyways, let's get moving. So, I'm sharing my screen and you should have put your name in your homeroom and we are going to move on to where it says please do now and you're going to do your PDM. So, which of the following describes the nucleus? We're going to do some quick review because before we add on more, I want to make sure we haven't forgotten what we've learned. So which describes the nucleus? A, the control center of the cell that contains the DNA. B, creates energy for the cell through cellular respiration. C, surrounds the cell and determines which molecules enter and exit. D, makes proteins for the cell. Make sure you select your answer. All right, you should have said A, it's the control center and that it contains the DNA. Let's move on. Which of the following describes the cell membrane? A, the control center of the cell that contains the DNA. Should have picked that one. We just picked it above. B, creates energy for the cell through cellular respiration. C, surrounds the cell and determines which molecules enter and exit. D, makes proteins for the cell. So select your answer. Okay, should have said C. It surrounds the cell and determines which molecules enter and exit. Remember, we said it's like a security guard, um, like a door, like your skin. It's the surrounding that prevents things from coming in that we don't want, but allows things in that we need. Last, we are learning about the mitochondria today. The mitochondria is where cellular respiration happens. Have you heard of the mitochondria or cellular respiration? What do you know about them? So if you were at KAC in sixth grade, you definitely learned about cellular respiration with Mr. Colbert in your respiration unit or in your metabolism unit. But so write down what you know. Maybe say, I know blank or I know nothing, but I want to know this. Give me an answer, type it out. Um, just like before, after that, you're going to be moving on to a brain pop video. Then there's going to be a YouTube video. And then I'm going to meet you with a new video of me on the notes page, just like we've been doing all week. If you have no idea what we've been doing all week because you haven't been doing the work, this is my friendly reminder to go back and make sure you complete the work from this week so you can get all the awesome credit for doing it. And so you can be really, really prepared for high school. So finish your PDN do the video and the questions, and I will meet you with a new video of myself on section five so we can read together. Go ahead.